This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Roden versus Elliot. You all have been in a relationship for three years? Yes, ma'am. And you've been living together about eight months? Yes, ma'am. All right, tell me why you brought your boyfriend here. Your Honor, I'm here today because I think that my boyfriend is cheating on me with my best friend of 18 years. We've been So your entire since, life? Since kindergarten, yes, ma'am. Do you have that awful feeling in your gut? Yes, ma'am, I do. Woman's intuition has kicked in. Yes, ma'am. Tell me what that feels like. Well, I mean, it, it's very hurtful because he treats me better than any man that I've ever had before, and our relationship is very important to me. We don't share children, but the children that I have, he takes very good care of. It's devastating because, you know, I don't want my children to lose that, and that's what would have to happen if, you know, I find out that it is true. All right. All right. Mr. Mr. Elliott. Elliott, she's accused you of cheating with a lifelong best friend. What do you have to say about that? Here to prove my point. I mean, I'm here right here today. Just prove my love to her. I mean, you know, I've been with her for three years. She's done an awful lot for me. She uh, loves her kids. Her kids are most important to me, just like they're my own. You know, I'm just here to you know, just to prove that, you know, there's none of that going on. I mean, I'm here for you. I'm going to always be here for you. And I'm just ready for it to stop. How did you two meet? My brother brought me over one day, and we both was kind of in a relationship at the time, but it was just something about it when she walked by, it just, she caught my attention in my eye, and my brother, you know, had brought a comment to me and said, hey, you know, she kind of like you, and I was like, okay. Ah! <laughs> so before right, you and... made the move, you had to know it was a move to make, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Okay. And Ms. Roden, what was it that you liked about Mr. Elliott? Um, well, when we first met, he was a perfect gentleman. He wasn't, you know, the type of guy that wanted to come, you know, let's go hang out at my house or, you know, let's chill. Like, no, he wanted to go out on dates. He wanted to do stuff. He wanted to get to know me before he did anything. Um, it took almost a month for us to even kiss. Um, and, like, I had, look, we were sitting in the car and I was like, we have not kissed yet, you know? It was just a spur of the moment thing. You know, I'd never really thought about it before then because he made me feel so special in other ways, it didn't matter. Being a gentleman, all right? I like that, I like that. And she's smiling the whole time. The whole time you talk her, she's smiling. <laughs> Um, what went wrong? Well, we had, like, a small issue with his ex. Like he said, you know, when we first met, we were both kind of seeing other people. But we both resolved that, and we forgave each other for, you know, things that had happened in between that time. But then there was a time that, you know, he had went out of town for work, and I was looking on his social media, and there was uh, someone that was just liking every single picture on his, you know, social media. So I wrote her. She immediately started sending me screenshots of their conversation. He, like wrote her and, you know, what are you doing? How have you been? And I want to see you and send me pictures and, really? you know, stuff like that. How old were those messages? Well, I mean, at that time, it happened that day. But, I mean, this has been now a year and a half old. But, you know, right. that's when things kind of... My trust was like... Mr. Elliott... So it makes you suspicious of him in general? Yeah. Okay, did right. this happen? Not quite like how she said it. We just had a friendly conversation. That's all it was, I mean... But can you understand why she would be a little upset about when can I see you? I'd be a little tight about that. And uh, can you send me a picture? But it wasn't no, no, can you see me? In, uh, can, I can't see you. It's like... So, so what it was it? It's like, I haven't seen you in a while. You know, could you send me a picture? It wasn't like, no... <laughs> okay. <laughs> All, All right. right. So... Uh, no, no, no. But... No. But if... No. No. <laughs> no. Not even... No, if... not even. Not even <laughs> a little bit. So okay. let me just okay. put the kibosh <laughs> on that. All right, okay. I don't care so, how long. Well, okay, but an old friend you haven't seen in a while, it's like, hey, how's it going? Send no. me a picture. <laughs> All right, Mr. Cup. Especially when you know it's somebody that they've had relations in the past. Oh, no, no, no. no, no, no. That's what, a no. no relations. I don't know where you get relations from. So, okay, was, was this was an old girlfriend? Yeah. No. Was this someone you hooked up with maybe once or twice? No. Was this someone you had any kind of romantic inclinations about? No. So, no. why does she think that you all had a relationship? See? Okay, now. No. But, That's still a no. But it was... It was a no? It was it, no one that he had any kind of... It's gonna be a no. We can do this all day. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Cutler. All right, let me ask this. Okay, so that's one incident. Okay. But what is it that he is doing that makes you think that he is sleeping with your best friend? I go on lunch, and I usually go to Terika's house for lunch, and, um... 
I pull up at Terika's house and um, both of their cars are there and I'm like pounding on the door for like 10 minutes. Nobody comes to the door. Okay, and wait a minute. So, <laughs> really? <laughs> so did you know that your boyfriend was going to be there? No. I'm sure you had a conversation with somebody about that. Well, <laughs> after I banged on the door for 10 minutes, like I said, I was on lunch break. Once I get home, he's at home and, you know, I question him about it and he acts like he didn't even, he wasn't even there. He doesn't even know what I'm talking about. Um, so he's like, you know, he just parked his car there or something. You know, I'm just like, <laughs> really? All right. So, <laughs> Mr. Elliott, your car was at Terrica's house. Yes, sir. At lunchtime. Yes, sir. Did you hear her pounding on the door? No, yeah, but it wasn't no 10 minutes. Okay. Why didn't you come to the door? Because, you know... No, no, I don't you know. Didn't go. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, Mr. Elliott, you're gonna have to explain that one to me. I mean, the door came open. We opened the door. And what happened when the door opened? She kind of had that look on, like, what's going on, but you couldn't say what's going on. The door never came open. That's what I'm confused about. The door never came open. Like, I had to leave because I had to go back to work. Are there any other incidents? Well, then one day I'm on my way home from work and I pass them riding in his car. So I turn around and follow them and they were headed towards my house. We pulled, all pulled up in the driveway and they just made it seem like, you know, they just went out to lunch and there was no big deal. And I was just crazy for even, you know, thinking something was going on. And I was like, you know, I'm not an idiot. Did you well, talk to your girlfriend about this? I mean, I had a conversation with her about it, and she was like, Leanna, you know better than that. You're my best friend. We just went to dinner, and it's nothing like that. And I'm like, well, why? How would you feel if I went to dinner with your boyfriend? And you can't think of any reason why they would be in the car together just kind of hanging out? No. Shortly after the dinner incident, I come home and they're just Kiki and Kaka on the phone. And as soon as I walk in the door, he hangs up the phone and I see her name on the screen. And I'm like, well, you know, what is all of that about? Oh, we're talking about lunch. We're talking about what happened at lunch. And my gut just tells me that it's something not right. All right. And Mr. Elliott, it's your position that there's nothing going on with her best friend, Terrica. Nothing at all. Sir. So your gut is saying it's doing this. Mm -hmm. Danger, danger. Okay, do you understand why she would feel that way? I can see like, when you said that, but sometimes it doesn't mean what you think it is. All right. Well, you haven't given us much to think that it ain't what we think it is. <laughs> can you help us understand why it isn't what it looks like? I bumped into her one day, and I was like, hey, you know, I'm planning this. Would you help me? Okay. So she helped me, you know, th what I was looking for. And she helped me out through the whole thing. Terrica, she's a great, wonderful friend. I love her just as much as she does. It sounds like something's All right. a foot. Well, in order to get to the bottom of this, the court has tracked down the best friend, Terrica. Ron, would you please escort Terrica into the courtroom? Yes, Your Honor. Hi, could you come in? What's your full name, please? Terrica Gunn. All right, Ms. Right. Gunn. And you have been best friends with Ms. Roten since kindergarten. My whole life. What is your relationship like with Mr. Elliott? Um, I guess my friend, because that's my best friend's boyfriend. I know him through her. I met him through their relationship. Only way I know him is because of my best friend. All right, so do you all talk? Do you all communicate? What's your... What's the nature of your relationship? What do you mean do we talk? Do you text each other? Do you talk on the um, phone? Here recently, I can say we might talk a little more than usual. But aside from that, no. When I see her, I see him. We all hang out. We all talk. We all eat together. But yes, we, we've talked a little more than usual, but not aside from what we've been talking about. OK, so have you been having an affair with Mr. Elliott? I have not. I can't even believe I'm here about this. Can I tell a story? <laughs> I just want to tell y'all what I'm here about, first of all. My best friend calls me, and she's like, girl, I think Quinn cheating with this girl. We gonna get her. Guess who the whole bag is? <laughs> OK, so <laughs> if, if I got this straight, your friend calls you and said, look, we're going to court because I want to find out if he's cheating, and we're going to track down this. She had a whole... We had a whole situation. We got a certain girl that we come here to find out about. We had everything, and me is me now. And she didn't tell you it was you? No! I so found... you shocked her? You yes, shocked. yes. Were you afraid to tell her who you thought it was? Yes. Why? She's my best friend. 
And that's and my she baby. Know I wouldn't do nothing like that. So it's it's a, it's such a hard situation. It was just hard to you know let her know that that's what we were coming for. So you and your heart of hearts, do you believe that she's she doing not. this? Oh, because I'm, I'm I'm looking at the tears in your eyes as you talk about this. Do you believe your best friend is cheating? I just I've I've, I've got that gut feeling, but I don't want it to be true. I got this gut too. feeling that you have, can you describe it? Your stomach just feels sick, you know, like when you see something or when you hear something, certain things happen, like the telephone calls and stuff, you know, it just makes you feel like, you know, it just, I don't know how to explain it. That's the best way I can explain it. When you look across and see them just standing there together. <laughs> how does that make you feel? <laughs> Mad. <laughs> Uncomfortable. Me um, too. Me too. Me three. Well, when you have a situation where a woman is feeling that she's being scorned, we felt it necessary to have a person come and share what that is like. Someone who has been scorned, who has had a triangle relationship, she believes, with her best friend and her man. And so we have invited Miss Mimi Faust to come and share with us. Miss Faust is a reality television star, a successful businesswoman who appears on her own program, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Ron, would you escort Miss Faust in, please? Yes, Miss Faust. Hi. Please come here across the front. Miss Faust, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. We need your help. We need your expertise. How has infidelity impacted your life? Uh, it's made me more aware. It's made me think about things a little different. It's actually raised my self-esteem um, going through these situations. What are the warning signs a partner should be on alert for in a situation where there may be infidelity? When your partner switches up on you, um, Extra phone calls are coming in. He's staying out a little bit later. Um, you know, when you have that gut feeling and you feel something is weird or strange, that's a sign. All right, so in this case, Ms. Roden says that she has that feeling that there are interactions between the two of them that just make her feel like something's going on. She sees them together in the middle of the day. Uh, she sees them in the car together. Is that something that be a red flag? Absolutely. They better have a damn good reason why they're together. Have you ever had an experience where a partner was cheating with a friend? Oh, boy. <laughs> I know, that's like a rhetorical question. <laughs> tell us about it. Just tell us about it. Oh, my God. I mean, it was terrible. It was terrible. It was... He had her in his phone under, you know, a different name, and, you know, the person is calling in the middle of the night, and I'm, I'm like, why is your phone ringing at 4 and 5 in the morning? And oh, it's my homeboy from the studio, and it was just crazy. You had this gut feeling at some point. It felt like I swallowed a cinder block. Oh, That's God. what it felt like. That was a good explanation. <laughs> is, that, is that how you feel, Ms. Rose? Yes, that was a good explanation. Yeah. Based on your experience, what can you tell them? Well, for you, just communication. You should talk to him. You should talk to your friend, if she's mm -hmm. your friend, especially if it's been your friend oh, the for many course. years. The court. Hold on, let don't him talk. Have, have, y'all need to communicate. You need to get all the information, and if it doesn't feel right after that, then you need to just leave it alone. Period. It's not worth going through something and you getting hurt behind it if, if he's not being faithful to you. And I hope to God, best friend, that you were right. being a best friend. Mm -hmm. That there has to be a good reason. Damn good for them to be together. Absolutely. Especially if she's not around so much, and she doesn't so know about it. Yes. All right. Ms. Gunn? Yes, sir. Is there a good reason why you and Mr. Elliot have been spending so much time together? There is a very good reason for it. We've been planning something. And honestly, it's, it's, it's kind of... A, a hard shell because this wasn't the plan. Just put it out there, please. Look, um, this this is what I wanted to say right here. I was T-bone in a motorcycle wreck. This woman right here took care of me. I do everything a man's supposed to do. But that really doesn't answer the court's question. The question is, why are you spending so much time with your girlfriend's best friend? What this is that? Right here. That's why. And we had a big plan. We That's were planning a nice an ring. engagement for her. Wow. 
But she's always thinking something's going on. Is that a damn good reason? That's a, that's a, that is a damn good reason. Yes! <laughs> Those are different kind of tears. Where's the cinder block now? Is it gone? It's gone. <laughs> All right, what you got to say? For first, I do apologize to both of you very much, and I love both of you so much. Um, second, um, I guess one reason why I, I am so, you know, like that with him is because that's the best man I ever had. I've never had somebody be as good to me as he has, and every man that I've been with has done me wrong in some kind of way. Congratulations. Thank Ms. you. Ms. Elliott? <laughs> Would you like to make it a moment right now? Yes. yes. <laughs> do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> it won't be go any home. proposal <laughs> out there in the world like this one. <laughs> oh, gosh. Leanna Roden. She married me? Yes. You all have been together for about a year, but you all are contemplating a massive move together to a different state. You're going to uproot your lives. But that has been put on halt because of allegations of cheating. Miss Randall, tell me why you're here. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, so I'm here today because I need clarification. Okay. Um, me and Aaron have been together. I love him very dearly, but I feel like it's some fishy stuff going on and I don't have time for it. So I need clarification today. I, I believe that he's cheating. I believe that he got something going on with somebody else and I'm not having it, so I need to know today. So what does that feel like? It feels terrible. I'm royal. I feel like he's royal, but you're losing it. You're acting like a peasant and you're doing too much. I don't have time for it. So you're a queen and you're expecting a king. Yes. And you're not getting it no, right I'm now. No, I'm getting a peasant. I think, oh. that, I think she explained it. I, I, think I, think... I, I think I got a picture. Mr. Tister, why uh, aren't you being her king? Well, I am her king, and I'm here to get my queen back and trying to get our trust back. Um, just false allegations throwing our balance off. She's not trusting me. So I'm just here to tell everyone that I am truthful and I'm not lying. So what are these allegations doing to your relationship? We're business partners as well, so it's hard for us to work together and the chemistry is off. Uh, we know something well, about chemistry yeah, being all... We work together and... Yeah, it's, it's, it's awkward, you know? So you all are not only not making love, y'all not making money either. No. And it's, 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 it's uh, breaking away. If you find that Mr. Mm -hmm. Tishner is, in fact, cheating, not only do you lose your love relationship, you potentially lose this business relationship. Yes, Your Honor. I can't be with a cheater. What are you doing? Why are you flipping the switch now? I'm well, not flipping no switch. Okay, you're flipping a lot of switches. I, there's no light switch I touched. <laughs> All right. Okay. How did you two get together? Okay, so it's a big hair show here in Atlanta. And I just bought a ticket on the whim, like, let me check it out. You know, it's artsy. I love art and stuff. So I went and I saw him. You know, he was modeling. He was real cool. He stood out. You know, his, his energy was just lit to me. He I stood out? Him. Yes. So I went over to him and I was talking to him and he made me laugh off bat. Like, he's just silly. And I found out that he has his own, like, jewelry line or, like, he was looking to, you know, do choker lines and different stuff like that, and I designed as well. So, Mr. Tisha, did you know she was checking you out? I mean, I saw her look, and I thought she was trying to creep on me for a second, <laughs> but... Uh, when you say creep on you, what do creep, you mean? You know, I felt mm. like she was just watching. I was like, maybe she's just looking because she's interested in how I look. Yeah, because you kind of got this whole... You got a Prince, Bruno Mars, oh, slash wow. Morris Day vibe coming. Thanks. I'm checking you out, Thanks. too. I'm yeah. like, okay, you got a whole... <laughs> you got a whole kind of 80s thing. That's me and Mr. Cullen's decade right hey. there. The 80s. 80s. <laughs> yeah, so I, I'm 24 karat. Okay, go ahead, look. We kept up with each other, and then a year later, you know, we started to date. What made you fall in love with her? Um, I loved how artsy she is and her mindset. And then through that, me getting to know her, I got physically attracted to her. And um, also, I'm bisexual, and she was understanding that, and she accepted me for who I was. So it sounds like a beautiful thing. I mean, you're, you're vibing at an art level, at a friendship level, at a love level. You all are business together. How are you here? We wanted to move, like, move together, like, do things together. And so we thought that Miami would be a great place to start over, you know, start fresh. So he was like, yo, I go down there, check out some little areas, check out a place for us to maybe, you know, move in together. I got a couple friends down there that I know. Okay. So, you know, I didn't think of it. Okay, cool. So he goes down there and he comes back. Now, when he comes back, energy is just strange. After that, you know, I'm trying to be a good girlfriend, you know. I go, you know, go to do his laundry, open up his suitcase, and this is what I find. 
some panties. Oh. oh. But why does she oh, still panties. have those pants? Because, okay. Well, well hold on. So okay. panties mean women's panties. Yeah. All right, and they weren't yours. No, okay, so I thought that maybe he got them for me. I'm like, oh, that's a cute gesture. You know, you got me some underwear and blah, blah, blah. But then I look in the seat of them and they were worn and torn. Oh! Oh, oh my so God. So these were, oh, she still God. has the so, worn, hold on, hold on, worn sister. underwear. Whatever. So these were not new panties. No, and so I sniffed them too and they were not. Oh, yeah. wait a minute. Hold All on. Right, yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> if it didn't have a tag, you just had to presume. You ain't got to sniff them. <laughs> She trying to be an FBI agent. You're artsy. So you think something's going on? Yeah, I know something's going on. You believe? You, I know something's going on, so I threw him right in his face. You can smell him, too. You cannot uh, act like these are for me or... You know what I'm saying? He which had a bogus... was very rude. Well, Mr. Tishner, I didn't know face? who the panties... Yeah. Well, Mr. Tishner, I, I don't think rudeness is your biggest issue right now. <laughs> I think your biggest issue is why you came back from a trip with women's panties in your suitcase. Because that's what we call... Evidence. Yep. Mm. Right. So, why did you have this evidence in your suitcase? Yana, I have no idea how the underwear, the panties got in my suitcase. I know when I was traveling, the, the luggage was handled a lot. Um, before I left... <laughs> uh, he the, probably wait, had on. TSA wait, hold on. Yeah. The luggage was handled. TSA, they... panties Ms. while you're uh, traveling. Please. Hold I was on, sitting Ratt. at the bar, I had drinks, I left them, you know, by the front desk. You have no idea. I'm trying to no, piece this together. I, 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 I someone understand. thought that it was their luggage and they put the drawers in the suitcase. You think somebody... You think the concierge... I mean, what? I had some nice suitcases, so I feel like they just want to touch it. Okay, touching is one thing. Opening and putting in a pair of used drawers yeah, is another. Yeah, it sounds crazy, but... It I does sound crazy. crazy. I'm um, glad we agree on that, Mr. Chester. Absolutely, Mr. but those, I have no idea. Do but you that's... understand why she's a little bit like, what? I, I understand, but as her king, she should trust me. No. If I go away on a trip, and I come back, and Miss Cutler finds some women's panties in my suitcase. And they not for me, and they not brand new. I would investigate. That's what that would be. Okay. And I think that that's appropriate here. Yeah. So, at this time, we would like to bring in private investigator Todd Redding into the courtroom to see if we can further investigate this These evidence. Panties. Rob, would you escort him in? Yes, John. Todd Redding. Right. Come on in, right. Come on in. What can you do to test to see if Mr. Tishner was cheating or not? Your Honor, we can take the underwear and test for traces of male semen. Ooh. All right. So we do a simple test on it to determine whether or not the panties give a negative or positive indicator. Let's do that. Ron, would but, you grab the evidence and, and take them to Mr. Yes, Redding? Your Honor. And we're going to send you back so you can perform your test, and then oh. we'll call you back in later to see what you determine. Okay, Your Honor. Be Thank right you. back. All right, we about to find out. We will find out. What other evidence do you have to think he might be cheating? I find a picture of him and some girl hugged up, kissed up. You found it where? I found it in his phone. Why were you going through his phone? A woman's intuition. All right, that woman's intuition, man. Do you have a picture? Yeah, I have the picture. I want to show y'all that. Because I have evidence, honey. When I need... When I feel like something ain't right... You gonna have it. And I found Rob, this. would you please wow. get that? Yes, Thank you, ma'am. Mm-hmm. Let's take a look. Wow. Well, that definitely looks like you, Mr. Chishner. And you and not are... just hugged up. I mean... He's just... grabbing her. Explain uh, that. Mr. Tishner, well, did TSA you... do this? Uh, no. I can explain this. Please, uh, please do. do. I was at a day party with my realtor, um, and, and he brought his friends, right? So that was one of his friends that we brought. And we were drinking. We were in Miami having a good time. I was drunk. We, it was hot. I was drunk. You are not buying any of this. I'm not buying that. He kissing up on that girl face. Where's and... everybody else? Yeah, I mean, it looks... It just and looks it like you. Are. You know, it was a stormy day. It was... I thought it was sunny. It, it was, was a stormy, stormy day in my head. No. Like, it was this is what I'm saying, Your Honor. He lies. And I'm you not bring up a whole lying. bunch of crap and it makes no sense. So, you are in Miami. You hugged up with some other woman. Grabbing her by the butt. Grinding her against the wall. Wow, that sounds... And then you come back from Miami and you've got women's panties in your suitcase. It, it's looking all bad, but... It really uh, is. Really? I'm you, you think? You. Randall, please tell me this is all you have. 
It's not. Oh. Okay, tell I me. I told you I'm a private investigator. All yeah, right, honestly. so what else do you have that supports that he's cheating? Okay, so I, I go through his phone and I find his voicemail and this girl's like, hey, I had a good time with you. And I, she sounds sloppy drunk, so I believe the drunk part was real. And so I went off, I just stormed out. I went off on him and I stormed out. And, and I want to know, who is this? Is this the panty chick? I don't know about a voicemail. I know I don't you don't. know oh, what type. Okay. Maybe okay. you're just... No, maybe God, you're just... Your head is going crazy right now. But... So who was this woman you had this great time with? Was this the woman in the picture or some other woman? The woman in the picture? Is this a friend? I don't, I don't have her number. I don't... She so this was some other woman then who left this voicemail? Um, I don't know message. about the voicemail, so I can't speak She just that. told I'm, you about it. I'm denying that. I don't know yeah. nothing about the voicemail, Your Honor. Do you remember getting a voicemail from a woman saying she had a good time Maybe with he was drunk. He didn't no, remember that. No, I don't. I, tell, <laughs> I think it was... I, I really was drunk that day. See, he doesn't remember getting that voicemail. <laughs> so that's... See, he was drunk, so he doesn't remember how the panties got in. He doesn't remember yeah. taking the picture. Uh-huh. Uh, he doesn't remember the woman calling saying, hey, we had a good time. All that because he was drunk in Miami. Well, and but... of course, you don't want to forget that the concierge or TSA... Yeah. ...because they don't have enough to do... Right, yeah. ...wanted to put some panties in his luggage. Because I was at the bar, man. Yeah. <sighs> and, th and that's what you're going with? I'm, th that's the truth. <laughs> He's lying. Yeah. He's uh... lying. And I, I feel it deep in my heart that he's lying. And it's so upsetting to me. Like, I'm, I'm really upset. Like... Miss Randall, oh. you, up until this point, were planning to pick up your entire life... Yes. ...and move to Miami with him... Yes. ...to go forward. Yes. And this is breaking your heart. Yes, this is really breaking my heart because, like, I'm the type of person where I wanted to, like, be in love with somebody and, like, grow together and, like, grow our life and our business together and stuff, and he just messing it up. Like, everything was good, and it's like, when you get your heart to somebody, then they just start, like, tripping, like... I think at this point, we have enough evidence. And what we have is, you found another woman's panties in Mr. Tishner's luggage when he came back from Miami. You found a picture of him kissing another woman. And you recently found a voicemail of another woman claiming to have had a great time with your boyfriend in Miami. And if it's determined that he's cheating, you're done. Not just with the personal relationship, but with the business relationship as well. You're done. Yeah. And based on that, this court has done a full investigation to determine, is he cheating? <laughs> so, at this time, the court would like to recall private investigator Todd Reddy. Ron, would you please escort him into the courtroom? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Mr. Reddy? Good to see you again. Good to see you, Your Honor. I have your results. Oh, good. Well, explain to us what you were able to investigate. Well, what we did, Your Honor, is we examined the panties for traces of semen. So, in step number one, we placed distilled water in the stained area of the panties. Then we extracted that distilled water into our testing cup in order to get a sample. Our final step, we placed a PSA test stick into the sample water in order to determine a result. So, what are we looking for with the PSA stick? So, what we're looking for, Your Honor, are two different indicators. A single line indicating a negative result of semen or a double line indicating a positive result of traces of semen. And so, what did your results determine? All right. Yeah. <laughs> PSA. Okay, but it's, it's more. Well, yeah. Mr. Tishner, that just shows that there was no semen in those particular pair of panties, it doesn't necessarily explain how or why they were in your possession mm -hmm. coming back from a trip from Miami. <laughs> to further investigate this, the court also conducted a polygraph examination of Mr. Tishner. And, Mr. Redding, you have those results, correct? Yes, Your Honor, I do. Mr. Tishner was asked, did you have sexual intercourse with a woman whose panties were found in your luggage? What was his response to that question? Your Honor, his response was no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being truthful. <laughs> Mr. Tishner was asked, did you have sexual intercourse with a woman who you were photographed kissing? What was his response to that question? Deceptive. 
Mr. Tishner. What? What? <laughs> yeah, what? What were you doing with her? Did you have sex with that woman? No, I, I did not, Your Honor. Just that kiss on the cheek. You did not have That's sex not a... with her. That no. wasn't a kiss on the cheek. Your mouth is open what? on this picture. I didn't do anything. Were you drunk? The, the, you don't remember? The question asked about intercourse, mm -hmm. and it says you were deceptive. Now, you weren't drunk when you took the polygraph examination, so you can't blame it on that. I really don't know. I didn't... All right. Mr. Teshner was asked from March 2017 until now, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than your girlfriend, Mercedes Randall? What was his response? Your Honor, his response was no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being deceptive. So who was this? This was my ex. Your ex? Oh. Are you serious? Yeah, I am. Sorry. It, Sorry, it was, it... like, for real? I'm done. Don't call me, don't text me, don't nothing. <laughs> You all have been together for five years. You're engaged. And, Ms. Lewis, you've been married twice before, but whether you take that trip down the aisle a third time all depends on the outcome of today's proceeding. That's Is that right. right? That's right. All right. You've initiated this case. Tell us why. Well, I'm too old for the cheating. All I'm asking for is honesty. And, like I always say, the same way you got this woman, it's the same way you got to keep her. Do the same thing. <laughs> and we used to have some fun. So you believe that he's cheating. What does that feel like to you? What, how does that affect you? It hurts. Okay. Because Tell me about I that. try to do everything for this man. Show him how much I love him. Okay. I get up 5 o'clock in the morning. Whoa. And how many women gonna get up, fix their man, coffee, <clears throat> breakfast, and lunch, Plus, I have to go to work myself. <laughs> Woo! Well, you got me beat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just say, Miss Lewis, Lewis, Lewis I, I ain't doing that. <laughs> I know that's what everybody tell me, but I do it because I love him, and I want to show are... him how much I love him and what I would do <clears throat> to keep him. But I'm not gonna keep doing it if he's not gonna be faithful. I understand. <clears throat> well, Mr. White, she says she's too old for this. What do you have to say about it? <clears throat> I'm too old for it. I mean, because. When I'm at a friend's house, uh, she peeping around the bush, and they said, there go your old lady. I, I said, I, I know she was coming, but... Uh, and then, so is like, she following you around like a detective or something? All the time. I, I'm just tired of it. It's like I'm in prison in my own house, and... Do right. You know, I have to feel like that. See, that's why I had to put up with it. Ms. Lewis, are you treating him like a prisoner in his own home? No. He feels well, that one, way. one, he'll tell me he's gonna do this, He's gonna do that. And first of all, if he never cheated <clears throat> and lied about it, everything would be okay. I've been married twice. I got eight kids. Oh, by boy. four different baby mama. What's new out there to me? And like you said, I mean, you've been out there, you've been there, done that. This is the woman for yes. you. Yes, yes. That's all I do. I work, I come home, I call her on my break. I mean, she want me to call her on my first break, second break, lunch break. My food in the microwave. I don't need to get time to eat because she want to talk. Not only can you not get a break at work, you can't get a break from not calling her. That's right. So if I'm hearing you correctly, you may have done some stuff in the past, but as it relates to your relationship right now with Miss Lewis, you said you're not cheating, you're not, I'm not cheating. cheating anybody else? No. And mostly all I do is fish. And she know where I fish at because she take me there. And I, I'm on the phone more than, more than I'm fishing. You know how older guys do. I, I mean, I'm 51. Uh, That's older? Wait. Uh, <laughs> you still <laughs> young? <laughs> yeah, Mr. Cullen, you older. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna just put it out there, I yeah. thought it was gonna pop up maybe like, you know, 70, 75. He's like, you know how older guys are, you know, I'm 51. <laughs> Wait a minute, he older than you, so you know. <laughs> so Wait, what does that make me? My husband. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. Good recovery. Good recovery. So, here's the thing. Yeah, hold on, love. I, you know, y'all are kind of cute to me. Really. <laughs> I'm looking at this look at her face. Yeah, y'all are like, kind of cute to me. She got her hands so I... on the hip. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, I mean, she tight about this, but I know that you said he did something to get you and you want him to go back to doing it. Tell me how you two met. I saw him on Facebook. I looked at his picture. Uh-huh. But what I did, I texted in there, talked about the fish. But the whole time he wanted the fish, I was checking out. <laughs> you were that. trying to reel something else in. Yeah. Okay, you can I call me a cougar because I am 12 years older than him. But... What? Uh-oh. But... You don't <laughs> look nothing older than him. Go, girl. <laughs> Keep using whatever you're doing. Thank you. All right. And I liked what I saw. Uh-huh. And we had a lot in common. And when I text him, I was like, is this man going to even text me back? Right. So I waited a week. I did it again. So he finally messaged me, and we used to talk on the messenger. Then we started talking to each other, and it was amazing. (laughs) I really, truly look. I know. I mean, the big (laughs) friend. I mean, both of them (laughs) friends. I like it. I like. Okay, (laughs) tell me about this. You get this message from this cute babe. So what happened? Okay, it it took a minute for me to uh, actually respond back because, you know, I want to make sure this was something I wanted to do. Right. But I told her I was not driving a car, I was driving a scooter. But that was all right with me. So I'm riding 25 miles... On a scooter? On a scooter and had to go to work just to come visit her. And we ate breakfast, we talked, and by the time I had to ride another 24 miles back to my job... Right. Running late, but... But wasn't it worth it? It, it was way <laughs> worth it. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, so you driving on a scooter. Yes. Girl, what you put in the eggs? I don't know. <laughs> but I got to find out again what I put in them because um, I'm you not getting get that same treatment again. All right, all right. So yeah. now you think he's fishing for other women, basically. Yes. He, he in another lake and it ain't yours. There you go. All right. So, Ms. Lewis, it sounds like if you're following him, it seems like everywhere he goes and, you know, he's always having to check in by phone with you, it doesn't seem like he even has time to cheat. So why do you think he's cheating? He talks in his sleep. Oh. <laughs> right. Yes, he does. What do you, what do you mean he talks in his sleep? Well, I'm thinking, you know, okay, he's asleep. I'm watch, lay in the bed, watch a little TV. I hear him talking about, oh, I can't catch the, the female name. Then you talking about, I can't talk right now. She here. Yo, then he'll go back to... Okay, wait a minute. Then he'll be like, ooh, fat booty. Oh. This is... Yo, this is okay, stuff... Wait, okay, hold wait on, a minute, hold on. on. Hold on. I, and wait, I know wait, he ain't I, talking about me. Okay, so wait a minute. Let me go back. You in bed, he's in bed. Mm-hmm. Clearly, you awake. Mm-hmm. And he's asleep. Yes, Your Honor. All right, go to sleep, so, fella. So, oh, wait so, a minute, let me see. Let me see. Let me see how this is. Go to sleep. And so you sit and watching TV. Uh, big booty. And you just kind of look at him. And I be ready. By the time I grab my phone and record it, I mess up and wake him up. So you can't get a can't get a recording of what he's saying. Right. But you but you, but you but should... I'm listening and I can hear it very clearly. It happens regularly. It's happened a couple Your, of times. I am sleep. All <laughs> right. So this has happened more than once. Yes. And you <laughs> think these are conversations? He's rehashing conversations he's actually had with them. Yes. And when you say had with them, he's being with these women while he's with if you. He's not. I'm gonna be honest with you. You don't have to be physically with that woman to be cheating. Uh-huh. You could be on that phone talking to her. Right. And that's still disrespectful. That's still cheating. I don't do it, and I don't expect for him to do it to me. Well, Mr. Weiss, whose big booty are you dreaming about? That's what I'm wondering. Uh, you you wondering too? You're the one sleep. I gotta ask you, Ms. Lewis, have you ever seen or found anything that makes you think mm. Mr. Weiss is cheating? Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Tell me about that. Oh, my goodness. You know how you have mirrors on your phone? Yeah. And you can put it on the TV? Yes. I'm in there cooking this man something to eat. Okay. I come out the room, he's snoring. I'm like, I'm gonna wake him up. I turn around and look at the TV. You know, I had a little picture in the corner. Yeah. I'm like, who is that? I'm like, oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> I go over to his phone, cut it on. His ex. Is on the, on the mirror of the, on, yeah. on the TV screen. He went to sleep and forgot to cut it off. Okay, so let me... Because I'm not quite as technologically advanced as some people. <laughs> so when you say the phone mirrors the TV... 
Yes, you can hit a button on there, and whatever's on your phone, you can watch it on your TV. Oh, you you know, know, it's like the TV in our bedroom, and I can do that I with my phone. I don't pay attention to what you're doing with the TV. <laughs> <laughs> so whatever he's doing on his phone shows up on the TV. Right. I submit it to the court. Now tell me you ain't seen that one. You ain't do that. That's right there. Proof okay. in the pudding, baby. So this was in your... This was in Mr. Weiss's phone. Right. And now, this who's is the private detective? And this is... And you found this after you saw the ex's picture up on the on your television. Yes. You go to the phone and pull it up, and this is what you found. That's right. And so Mr. Weiss writes, <laughs> love you, and then again writes, love you. And the ex says, right back at you. <laughs> and then Mr. Weiss wants to know, do you love me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, look at this. Nothing says Christmas like writing your ex December 25th at 12.30. You wrote this on Christmas Day? I don't even remember. See? <laughs> hey, amnesia! Well, really, really. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. Really? Have you sent your ex any text messages saying, I love you? That's the question. Whether, you, whether it was December 25th or May 25th. I don't remember. You're over here fuming right Ooh, now. Ooh, yeah, I see that. She's have you found anything vibrating. else? Have you found anything else that makes you think he's cheating? Oh yes. What Talk else have you it. found? Well, one day I was putting some clothes in the drawer, and I happened to move stuff around. Sexual enhanced pills. You saw sexual enhancement pills? Yes. In the drawer. Right. The first time <laughs> I saw it, I didn't say nothing. I said I'm gonna catch him. So I went back in the drawer, put some more stuff in. One pack missing. Two pills in a pack. Well, wait, hold on. Hold, hold on. on. When you first saw the pills... Oh, I didn't tell him about it. But but why did you just assume that he was using with someone else? I mean, you he all sure are together. He sure don't need them for us. <laughs> so you don't... We've had sex, and the pills were still in that drawer because I checked the same day. All right, all right. Mr. Weiss. Yeah. How about... <laughs> Please remember... Well, when she put them in the drawer... <laughs> He put them in the drawer. Okay. It, it was energy pills. It won't, it won't no Viagra, it won't nothing else. It was the, the energy pill where you buy off the shelf. So you're saying they weren't sexual enhanced, but they were energy pills. They was energy pills. And you did buy some energy pills. Yes. You didn't buy sexual enhancement pills. No, I don't need that. And so you, <laughs> so how did she get them? Oh, wait a minute. I don't yeah. need that. <laughs> yeah. He ain't that old. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I don't know, baby. Okay, so... I'm going to ask the hard question. Did you use those pills to be with another woman? No, I did not, Your Honor. That's what you're telling this court? Yes. And that's what you're telling Ms. Lewis? And that's what I'm telling her. All right, I think we got enough. Got what we have one. here is he's talking in sleep about big booties and exes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's got a, We got an I love you text, and he said, I don't remember. And then we got these sexual slash energy pills that Ms. Lewis found. And he says, the only thing I'm doing is fishing. The question is, what kind of fish is he doing? Fish or women? And where is he fishing? <laughs> where, right. where is he fishing? Miss Lewis has said, I'm done. I am too old for this foolishness. So if it comes back that he's cheating, I think she's gone. And we're about to find out because this court has done a full and complete investigation. We're going to call it this time certified polygraph examiner Kendall Show to determine, is he cheating? Kendall Shoal. Mr. Shoal, how are you today? I'm great, Your Honor. How are you? I'm doing good. Would you state for the court your credentials, please? I uh, spent almost 30 years with the FBI. Uh, I spent my whole career in Washington, D.C. When I retired, I was actually chief of the entire FBI's polygraph program. And uh, when I retired, I moved to Knoxville, Tennessee, began my own practice of PI and polygraph, and uh, I've done that now for almost 20 years. Now, you conducted a polygraph examination of Mr. Weiss, correct? I did, Your Honor. You asked Mr. Weiss, since the start of your relationship with Ms. Lewis, have you used sexual energy pills with anyone other than Ms. Lewis? What was his response to that question? He said no, Your Honor. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being... deceptive, Your Honor. Mr. Weiss, first of all, let's clear it up. So is this one of those things you just don't remember? 
Because mm-hmm. you didn't remember uh, I, I, telling your ex on Christmas Day that you loved her. I never used that the, the peers with nobody else. Miss Lewis, mm-hmm. you 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 look like you're holding yourself up. Mm-hmm. I tried to show this man how much I love him. I took more crap off of him than I did any one of my ex-husbands. All right, let's find out about this question. Mr. Shull, you asked Mr. Weish, since the start of your relationship with Miss Lewis, other than the one time she knows about, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than Miss Lewis? What was his response? He said no, Your Honor. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being deceptive, Your Honor. Oh, hell no. Excuse me. So, so Mr. Weiss, let's, let's do it this way. It's time to come clean now. It's time to just cards on the table. I had never cheated on her or slept with another woman since the one she knew about. Because I don't have time for that. I love this woman. I can't keep being hurt and lied to. All I ask is be honest. You all have been married for four years. You've got three kids, one on the way. And Mr. White, you say allegations of cheating are destroying your relationship. Why are you here today? I'm here to defend my honor and to prove my innocence because my wife is sitting here that accuses me of cheating constantly because she is a chronic cheater. She has cheated in the past and she's just trying to put it on me because I've went as far as getting DNA tests done on all the kids, even the ones she's pregnant with because of the infidelity. All right. Well, Miss White, are you accusing your husband of cheating? Yes, I am, Your Honor, because he was sleeping with his ex-boss. Like, I found text messages with him sleeping with his old boss. And that's the reason he's here trying to prove his innocence, to say, I did not do that. Yes. All right, Mr. White, uh, you say she's cheated in the past. How do you know that? I've sat there and seen text messages in between her and other guys. She's seen erotic pictures to guys. They have sent it to her. And I went as far as following her on Valentine's Day to another guy's house. All right, Miss White, did this occur? Yes, it has, but I have confessed to everything. He has forgiven me for everything that I've done. He's still around, and I don't think it's right for him to keep throwing everything in my face when this... We're not here about me today. We're, we're here about him. Well, and to that point, he is saying that it's because of frankly, guilt that you have that you're saying he's cheating. Is there any merit to his argument that you are, in fact, accusing him because of this past? I have found text messages and seen that he was texting his old manager and was saying how beautiful she was and he wanted to be with her. And I had confronted this lady, his boss, about it, and she admitted to hanging out with him while my sister was laying on her deathbed and they were drinking, but they had denied that they had ever done anything besides just hang out, but I still don't believe either one of them. I think more happened that night than... Do you have any evidence of this conversation? Yes, I do, Your Honor. Okay. Ron, would you please get that, please? Thank you, ma'am. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Ron. Yes, Your Honor. From Mr. White, can I come over? Not right now. What about your wife? I like you. You're beautiful. So, Mr. White, are you having these text message conversations with other women? Yes, I was having the text messages with her, but I was... It was more just to show her how it felt a little bit. Because... Two wrongs don't make a right, and you still shouldn't have been sitting there texting your boss that you're supposed to be providing. I think your wife has a point. Two wrongs don't make a right, love. All right. Well, Miss White, do you believe he's cheated with any other women? I've caught him having other women in our apartment. Um, he has admitted to kissing other girls, um, but nothing ever led there that he admitted to. You know, Mr. White, you came in with the appearance of a choir boy. <laughs> but now I'm hearing all this here, and it's like... Okay. So, have you kissed other women? I've kissed one other woman. That is the correction. I've kissed one girl. And I took... When we got married, I took my vows seriously. I have not cheated on her. 
I haven't done anything. She has sat here and go through my phone when I go to sleep. She's even as went as far as I come home and she thinks that I've been gone too long at work. She'll start like she's going to give me oral and smell my private area to see if it smells like another female. Okay. So this lack of trust that you all have stems from your belief or the fact that she's cheated in the past and now because of that, you think he's cheating on you. Yes. So here's the thing. Did you go to your boss's house? Yes, I went to my boss's house. We were drinking whiskey and hanging out and talking. And she went to touch my leg, and I said, I can't do this, and I immediately left. Okay. So did your boss invite you over, or did you ask to go over? I just asked to come over. Hey, call the boss up. Call the boss up. Boss? Yes? Can I come over? Yeah. Boss says yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. And that's, then, that's a good boss for you. That's a good boss. All right. And so you, you have been flirting before. Yes. Okay. So it looks like this. All right, you flirting with the boss. Hey. You know, hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Doing all right. All right. Yeah. So what you doing later? I don't know. What should I be doing later? <laughs> oh. I, I got some work for you to do. Oh. And then the music plays. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there yeah, you go. Yeah, music deal, deal. Yeah. yeah. All right, so the music plays. So you going over to your boss's house with one thing in mind. She's expecting you to come over with one thing in mind. You get there. The scene is set. You're drinking. You're talking. You're hanging out. You apparently are slow to make a move because she has to put her hand on your leg. And at that moment... He pulls out. You... Well... <laughs> oh, uh, nice to know. Nice to know. Uh, All right. All right. So at that moment, you decide, you know what, mm, this isn't right. Is that what you're telling us? Yeah, I, it might sound a little wrong, but I started thinking of my kids and what would happen if something did happen that they wouldn't see their father, possibly, and they need their father and mother. They don't just need one or the other. So what we have here is the husband's side, the wife's side, and the boss lady's side. She's here right now. <laughs> Ron, would you please escort our next witness in, please? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. White, you look pretty nervous. I'm not nervous, ma'am. Oh, you sure? Yeah. All right. Hey, homewrecker. Good day. How are you? I'm fine. How are you, Your Honor? Right. Would you state your name for the court, please? My name is Molly Messer. Ms. Messer, you are Mr. White's boss or former boss? Yes, former boss. Okay. At the time he was working for you, did you know he was married? I did. She would come to the restaurant from time to time, and he confided in me in the marriage problems that they were having. Well, that's still none of your business. You should have been managing him, not... Well, you should have been screwing around and he wouldn't have been confiding That's in me. That's none of your business. You should have stayed well, out of it. You got kids of your it's own. It's my turn to talk. It's not your turn to talk. Anyways, he confided in me the problems they were having in their marriage. From my understanding, he was going to leave her because she was being unfaithful to him. So what was the nature of your relationship? I wouldn't call it a relationship. I would call it a situationship because <laughs> it started out... It started out professional. It led to a flirtation, but it lasted about a month. But, you know. Mr. White has testified he was interested in you. Were you interested in him? I was, in a way, but there, there's too much baggage to that, man. Like, it, it wasn't even worth it to me. Then he shouldn't have even started it in the first place. You should have just kept mad. Again, I'm not talking to you. They're, I don't they're care. talking to me. They're not talking to you. I don't care. So you need to stay out of my family's business. Miss well, Messer, Miss You wouldn't have problems if you wouldn't have been the home wrecker that you were. I admitted that what I did was wrong, but that's something okay, that you should Okay, well, that's good. Said, that's good. Involved. I'm glad you admitted what you was doing was wrong, because it is wrong. Miss Messer? Yes. Were you attracted to him? Yes, I was. Are you still attracted to him? No, I'm not. Well, I call it a situationship, because there is more than, like, what she's telling you. This girl caused me to lose my job and everything. She kept calling, calling the head person over me. Talk about I was having a relationship with employees. Not just, not just him, employees. She ended up causing me to lose my job. I lost my house. I lost, I lost a lot due to her and her drama. You're saying Miss White 
actually cost you My your job. job. Yes, she did. Your livelihood. So she has costed me a lot. Like, I've had a lot of issues for the past two years just over this. Did you ever have any direct communication with Ms. White? I did, and it was like two or three times. Like I said, she kept calling, she kept calling, wanting to know whatever, which I've denied, you know, I denied allegations of what was going on. So, Mr. White has testified that he came over to your home. Is that correct? That's correct. And that you all drank. Correct. And he says that nothing happened. See, I'm here to clear the air and say that, yes, we did have sex. It was one time and we were drunk. <laughs> but we haven't had any relations since then. We haven't talked since two months after, and that was just to clear the air because we were drunk. We, I mean, neither one of us that want each other. Okay, Miss White has testified that you told her that you all did not have sex. Oh, yes, that's what I told her. I'm here to clear the air because this has been two years and it's kind of crazy that... You should have cleared the air when I first told you So, something. you are Instead saying that you actually did have sex with Mr. Yes. White. Did you have sex with Miss Messer? No, we did not. We did not have sex. I don't know where this is coming from or nothing. We did not have sex at all at any point in time. And again, you went over there with the intention of doing that. Yes, Your Honor. And she was receiving you into her home with the intention of doing that. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Why? And she's testified that you did. We did not. So the only missing piece in this whole puzzle is you saying we didn't. We did not. Why would she lie? Why would she come here and lie? I don't know. I guess she's wanting to get revenge back on my wife and end the marriage because where she lost everything, she's wanting to make her feel the pain. Ms. Messer, why did you wait till now to tell this truth? Because when I denied the allegations in the beginning, it was because I did not want to lose my job. And, I mean, what's the point now? She's done calls me to lose the job. And it's been two years. Maybe it'll give her some closure. You should have came clean two years ago and then it would have evolved, like... Well, this won't be coming up now, like... Well, like I said, so you didn't come right out and say that you cheated. Now, did you? No, you didn't. It's none of your business well, what I do with my family. You got well, your own family, worry about your own He problems. made it my business. Miss well, Messer... that's none of his, her business either. You should have stayed Ms. out. Miss White, thank you. Miss Messer... Yes. This is not about spite. This is about you wanting to clear the air. Exactly. All right. Well, to find out... If Mr. White has cheated, the court engaged the services of a licensed private investigator and polygraph examiner, Kendall Schull. Ron, can you please escort Mr. Schull into the courtroom? Yes, Sean. How are you, Mr. Schull? Good, Your Honor. How are you? We're good. Okay, we have heard two different sides of the story today. And so we really need your help. Mr. Whitey said he has not had sex and did not have sex with his boss, Ms. Messer. Ms. Messer is here on the stand and has testified under oath that they, in fact, did have sex the one night that he went over to her home. So we need your help. You asked Mr. White, have you ever had sexual intercourse with Ms. Messer? What was his response? He said, no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being truthful, Your Honor. Mr. White, you have this look on your face. What is that? It, it proves right there in the test. Ms. Messer? Yes. The lie detector results show that you all did not have sexual relationship. Yes. All right. Are you just being spiteful? Yes, because, like I said, she has caused me to lose everything that I own, like my house, my job, over nothing. And I hope for that short period of time that you thought he slept with me, that it hurt you the way you've hurt him and the way you've hurt me. You're still a homework and slut. Right. No. All, right. All right. Now, now, you realize this is a court of law. I realize that, yes. And you were under oath to tell the truth. Yes. And you deliberately lied. Yes. For spite. Yes. Correct. You do realize you can be held in contempt of court. Yes, I realize that. And all the penalties associated with that, including jail. Right. And you're comfortable with that. In a way, I, I'm not gonna say that I'm comfortable with that, but in my opinion, it was well worth it because, like I said, she caused me to lose everything. Right. So you did not sleep no. with Mr. White? No. 
And that is the truth. That's the truth. So she caused me to lose everything over nothing. She should have went with it. When I told her in the beginning that we didn't have that we didn't have sex, she should have believed that. She shouldn't have called and called and called my boss and had me lose my job and then lose my home and lose everything else that I had. Mr. Shaw, you asked Mr. White, other than what your wife is already aware of, have you had physical sexual contact with another woman? What was his response to that question? He said no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being truthful. So, Mr. White, maybe you are a choir boy. I wouldn't go that far as saying I'm a choir boy, but when I take something serious, I take it serious. Miss White, how are you feeling right now? I'm relieved that now we can start moving past everything and work on it. He's forgiven me. I can forgive him. All right. You all have a bright future. You have a baby on the way. You have children already. You all have got to develop some trust and learn how to agree to disagree sometimes. But you also have to learn how, when you don't agree on something, you don't run. You don't get mad. You don't go be with somebody else. You learn how to fight through those moments. Mm -hmm. Cullen and I have learned to fight fairly. What he does is he takes his corner, I take mine, and when we can talk civilly, we do. And then we come up with a plan to move forward. You two met online, and Miss Walker, you believe that Miss Carter is still online such that you did not accept her marriage proposal. And you opened this case instead. Ms. Walker, why don't you trust Ms. Carter anymore? Share with the court. Your Honor, basically, my girlfriend is a liar and a cheater. <laughs> uh, she, try, she always try to say that I'm living in the past and I'm being paranoid. But if it's so much in the past, how did I recently find a, a dating app that was created for men online that she says she put there because I snoop and she wanted me to find out. But I feel like if that was the case, why would you... We already have trust issues, so why would you create more on top of that? That's, that's not true, because when I am being honest with her, she gonna go back and double-check anyway. And then the thing with the, the dating app, I put it on there because she knows it. I just wanna see how long it's gonna be exactly till she come uh, But back. why intentionally hurt me? What you snooping for? Because I don't <laughs> trust you. You lie. So, Ms. Carter... Have you given her any reasons to not trust you? <laughs> and it's not funny, Your Honor. This is serious, and this is a joking matter to her. See, because I... This yeah, is... there is a... Well, color there are clearly yeah. two different viewpoints. I'm not she playing. ain't smiling but at all. And that's the thing. Even when we at home and we argue, just because I smile doesn't mean that I don't care. I don't want her to know how I'm feeling. That might, my, I show my emotions different from her. But, Ms. Carter, Ms. Walker says you're not taking this seriously. I am. What are you here to show today? That I've been telling the truth and that I love her and I want to be with her. We got a hot one. <laughs> we got a hot one. So you feel the trust is gone in the relationship? It is, Your Honor. And then all of this started because I paid her cell phone bill one time. And with her cell phone bill, you needed the, the passcode. So I kept it. And I noticed that it was a number that kept showing up on her phone bill that came up every time she got through talking to me. So I went back and looked at it. I'm like, well, let me not say too much right now. Let me see where this is going, because I might be that paranoid girlfriend, like she always try to say I am. But paranoia do not find facts. So, so you, you're like, I might be paranoid, mm -hmm. but what I'm seeing here is the same it's number something. over and over and over again. And, and like I said, but every I phone bill would have that. If you look at somebody's phone bill, you're going to have certain numbers you call more than others. Why? Wait. In and uh, of no, 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 no. That's normal. That's normal, but kind of what you, If I heard you correctly, you're like, every time she talks to me, she talks right to after. this person. And not only Every that... Every time she talked to me, she talked to this yes. person. And not only that, but for six and seven and eight hours through the night. Yeah, that's no, what no. That's caught my attention. Okay. Am I, okay, so all that's right. a little different, right? It's a little but, different. All right. Okay, but all right. that's because I get tired of her accusations. And at the time, when I was talking to this other person, my, my father was, you know, ill, you know, and, you know, I was in Michigan, y'all was out in Texas. So, you know, y'all worked, but, you know, we was just talking, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, really just talking. And Ms. that was it. So, Ms. Walker, did you ever investigate whose number this belonged I to? I sure did. All right, oh, talk to me. I confronted her with the number. I said, babe, why is this number showing up on your phone bill the moment? Not even 30 seconds, Your Honor. One minute, like, 
one minute after she hang up with me. Why is this number there? Oh, babe, that's just my stud, bro. That's just my stud, bro. I don't even get down like that. You're gonna feel stupid too. Call her. I was like, mm. Well, she can't be lying because she's telling me to call the lady. Let me ask you something. Were you talking to her for six and seven hours at a time? Yes. So if she talked to you for six and seven hours, and then she... she'd go and talk to this person for six and seven hours. Wow, that's a lot of extra time you got. Yeah, that's so because I was I did, sick. And I, I couldn't did do nothing but... amongst myself to call her bluff. I called the lady and I'm like, hello. And she was just like, who are you? And I said, I'm Q's girlfriend. Now, who are you? She said, I'm Q's girlfriend too. Oh. <laughs> she wow. Didn't think, she didn't lie about it or nothing. But even after that. Okay, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> this woman tells you, I'm Q's girlfriend too. What did you do with that information? Because that's what like, I'm interested look, in. I'm coming to you woman to woman. I need the truth. If you are with Q, good luck to y'all. Because I didn't need that right then. Okay. You asked the question, you got and the she answer. she gave it to me, so I asked her. Okay. That I was said, my question. What did that conversation look like? So she was just like, babe, she's straight lying. She just lying on me. I'm a G. I don't get down like that. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so I'm like, okay, well, she got a whole bunch of uh, things that she coming up with. Like, I'm asking her, you know, did y'all ever have sex and things like that? She giving me dates. So I asked Q, did you, did you, did you do the girl? And she was like, babe, it was just a drunk night. It was so, one time it. and it ended. But <laughs> now, Your Honor, it, it, it was one time and it ended, right, Miss Carter? Yes. And your attitude is, that was in the past? Yes. Okay. <sighs> but in terms of now, she thinks you're still cheating. But love. Here's the thing. Now we know where the trust was broken. Okay. That's why when all these other things keep happening, she doesn't have anything to rely on because she was told nothing's going on. Then she's told something did happen. And I, I looking at your face, and you think it was more than once, but it you're was. going with the it one was time. More than once. Okay, but if this happened in the past, my question is, you all <clears throat> got back together. Yes, we okay. did. So basically... Why did, why'd you get back together? Well, I love her, Your Honor. I do. I love her to death. And if I didn't, I wouldn't be here. There's a lot of things, but one that really stuck out with me that touched my heart because, you know, we both lost our parents within a month apart. Oh. Um, so we struggled through those, that trying time, but right. I really wanted a dog. You know, I'm like, shoot, kids out the house, I'm ready for a dog. <laughs> so, you know, I'm like, look, she's like, bae, I'm gonna get you this dog. So I'm like, look, bae, we need to get a puppy cam so we can see where the dog is pooping. But little did I know, getting the puppy cam, that I was gonna find out my but girl was The puppy was cam in was me. I was the dog she was looking at. You're it was never right. for the puppy. <laughs> Let me show you. So, like I said, I had got the puppy cam. She okay. feels like she was the puppy I was spying on. Yeah. But you give me reason. So, I installed this underneath my dresser. Um, and I put an app on my phone to zoom in to listen to what she would say. Now, it was on a break. It was one of my breaks. I had texted her. She hadn't responded back in a while. So, of course, I'm already paranoid. I know from past history how she get down. So, I turned the cam on from my phone, zoom in and listen, and she's telling some girl how she is sexually do this and how she'll do that. Oh. And that is your not... Honor, Hold on, Ms. Carter. I submitted evidence for this. Right. Let's, Let's listen. listen to it. Yeah. You know how we do it. You know how we get down. And that's that's how I remember it, Your Honor. Plus, it might have been some more because wow. after after I I zoomed in to listen, then I was like had to chill out. You know, chill out a minute. But I was like, I'm finna go and see what else she doing. Still no text message. Three hours later, she's still on the phone with this mysterious woman. Hey. And so they're still Carl having these provocative conversations. Conversations you do not have with friends. And I asked her, and she said, that's just how I talk to my friends. So what? <laughs> so... So, Ms. Carter, who are you having these conversations with? These sexually... It, it was a friend, Yana, and all that, but her recollection, none of that was said. You know, the thing was, the person I was talking to, I had known... That was, like, my ex from, like, 10 years it ago. It don't matter. But we still was Why talking... Why is your ex in your current we, life? We, we wasn't talking... Hold on. Hold on, Miss Walker. I, I need to hear this. Mm -hmm. I might have said some things, but I was mad. I was venting. So that's... Like I told her, when she brung it to my attention, I'm like, Ayana, I said, that's like me writing in my diary 
and you open and read my deepest, darkest secrets, you keep listening. And she's saying that she would listen on the break. No, when she got in that car and lit that cigarette in the morning on the way to work, she listening. When she get to work, she listening. you know? So, Ms. Carter, you feel that was a breach of your trust, your privacy for it, her to be listening in... Yes. ...on your conversation. So, Ms. Walker, when you heard this uh, conversation, the recollection we just heard, do you believe that was the woman in Oklahoma that she was talking yes. to? Yes. That's the woman who keep popping up 90% of our relationship. I logged into her little tablet and I go and look where she's been going the times that she's saying she's going to Wichita Falls or Houston and that stuff is detouring to Oklahoma City. The same address that this Oklahoma girl is at. Even recently, she had to go out of town to get a pair of kicks. So I get off of work, because I'm like, bae, where you at? Straight up, where you at? And she's like, bae, I'm, I'm out at the mall. I was like, cool, I'm off. Let's go and get, let's grab a bite to eat. I'm at the it was Fort Worth. Setup. I'm at the Fort Worth mall looking dumb. She ain't nowhere near that. She's three and a half hours away. Hmm. In Oklahoma? In Oklahoma hmm. City. So, Ms. Carter? Is this true, Ms. Carter? That is true. But because that morning, we had got into it. And it's another thing with y'all. Every time she get mad, oh, I'm just done. Oh, get out. All this stuff. I, I'm tired of that. I so, am too. I, I like That's to drive because, you know, I had that day off. I had been needing Always to Oklahoma City. Okay, wait a minute. Ms. Carter, I... You were... Did you understand that she thought you were in Texas at the mall? Did you did you tell her you weren't in Texas yeah. in the mall? Yeah, because uh, this she said, Q, where you at? I said, I'm at, I'm in Fort Worth at the mall. She said, I'm about to come. And then I texted her back. I said, man, quit playing. You just trying to see where I'm at. And then she texted me. She said, I'm at Stay the mall. Stay where you at. Stay where you, where you at. Why, why but would but you, you did tell her you were at the mall. To, in yes. Fort okay. Worth. In Fort Worth. But she was in... Which, where Oklahoma. were you? Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Okay, Oklahoma do City. you understand why this woman but I did does not, not to, to leave you? To make her mad, because that's the only way but I can why get Why do you keep but, making wait me a mad? Minute. Hold on, hold on, Miss Walker. That's because you, you hurt me. Miss Carter, do you understand why she yeah. cannot believe you? You tell her you're at the Fort Worth Mall, Three but you're in a different state. Away. Right, but that still would have been... I would have got the same consequences if, if not. I'm grown. If I want to drive to then Oklahoma... Say that. Th say that then. I tell you, I'm grown all the time. Ms. Carter, you not go okay. to the same Ms. Carter. place causing instabilities in our relationship. Ms. Walker, Ms. Carter, clearly we have an instance where you told Ms. Walker that you were in Texas when you were actually in Oklahoma. Yes. She has a concern about a woman who's in Oklahoma. Uh -huh. Yes. Someone from your past you admit you've been with in your past, correct? Yes. Have you been with that woman more than once? No. That's what you're telling this court. Well, I think we have enough information. All right. And what we have is, she saw on the cell phone bill that there's a number from Oklahoma that keeps popping up. We've got the puppy cam conversation, and then we've got the GPS where Ms. Carter has told her, I'm in Texas, but the GPS shows she's in Oklahoma. Oklahoma, Oklahoma, Oklahoma. Everywhere right. you look. Every, everywhere is Oklahoma. Everywhere you look. And you feel because of this, you know she's cheated. I feel like this time, I feel like she's still there. Mm. She's still in the background somewhere. You believe it was more than a one-time thing? Most definitely, because that's what she told me. You believe it's ongoing? Yes. And if you find out it's ongoing... That's it. Because you've had your chance to redeem this. But the fact that my intuition is kicking in and instead of paying an investigator five, six hundred dollars, I'm doing it myself. I spy my guy, you know. And because of that, this court has done a full and complete investigation. At this time, the court would like to call licensed polygraph examiner Tommy Platt to determine, is she cheating? Tommy Platt. Mr. Platt, would you share for the litigants and for the court record your credentials? I have been a licensed polygraph examiner for over 10 years and conducted nearly 3,000 polygraph examinations. All right. Thank you, sir. Ms. Carter. Yes. I'm watching you. She looked guilty. And I start to see signs. You looking around, you rocking. You making hands, those faces. Hands. Your hands are moving back and forth. And a lot of times they smile. <laughs> and that usually is an indication to me, to my gut, 
That this something's ner- a mess. They're nervous about what's going to happen. Uh, nervous what's going to happen. Mr. Platt has just told you his credentials. And sometimes that's enough to make people go, do I want to play with this? Not a liar, though. They because tell Well, better. but here is the thing, and I've said this more than once, it's better for you to tell your story than Mr. Platt or one of our other experts. So I'm going to ask you right now, before he gives... Is there anything you need to tell Ms. Walker at this point? Yeah. <clears throat> I, um... The signs don't lie. Yes, I, um... Yeah, I, I mean... It was... I slept with her more than that one time. But I have not slept with her since, the uh, March 2000. I think that's, that's true. March of 2017 or 18. But that, that's the truth. That's the only thing I had to say. Everything else, I'm, that's the truth. How long did this affair go on? How long did it continue? Our whole relationship. Since I, she uh-huh. met her in March, she met me in March. Wow. All right, so for a year, for 12 months, you yes. were with this woman. So it was a relationship? No. But you were sexually intimate with her over that year. Several times. I won't say several, but yes. More than once. More than once. All right, and it was your understanding it was one time. And I just recently even asked her, I was like, babe, just tell the truth. Was it more than once? Because what she's saying and you saying, I'm not gonna trust you. She's like, how you gonna trust a a stranger? She ain't lied to me once. You're the only one who say you love me, but continue to lie. Oh, I did that because you snooping. How could you intentionally hurt someone that you love? You, I mean, you always say that, yeah, but it's not. That's not what it is, man. And a cheater. A that's exactly people, what, that's what it is, Miss Carter. No, it's not. It is exactly what it is. You said it was one time. It was one year. <laughs> one year. If you don't want to be exclusive. That's okay. Let me move on. You, that's okay if you don't... If you still have feelings for this person. It's okay. But don't drag her heart through the mud. Yeah. That's the problem. Mm. Ms. Walker, yeah. would you share with Ms. Carter what you're gonna be doing with this relationship? I can't do it. I'm tired of living like this. I'm tired of not being able to trust the person that I'm building my nest with. You all have been together for three years. You have two children together. But your home is on rocky ground. And the question is, will it stay there or will it move to firm footing? Mr. Owens, tell me why you've opened your case today. Well, I come here today because, really, I just want to figure out if she's cheating on me or not. I mean, I love this. I love this woman to death. I have two kids with her. And, like, I really want to marry her. But I can't see myself moving forward, you know, with so much suspense and not knowing. So you have all this suspicion and you're wondering, what am I stepping into? Yes, ma'am. All right. Ms. McCullough, he's put it out there. You know, he needs to know. He needs some answers. But, you know, he thinks you're cheating. What do you have to say about that? Well, I'm not cheating. I just came on to prove to him that I'm not because I, I, I want to move us forward. I want to get married to this man, too. I love him. He does everything for me. Like, anything I ask, he'll do. You know what I'm saying? I love him. I want to move forward with him. So, I, we need to get it together. So, you're like, I'm not giving up my good thing. Let's do this thing so you'll know. Exactly. I, you know, you would think we got two people who want to move forward together. They should be moving. They should be moving. There has to be a reason, Mr. Owens, that makes you think something's amiss here. What have you seen? What have been the warning signs that there's cheating? First off, I would like to say I was going through her phone one day. And... Okay. And... Yeah, I know. It was bad, but... You know, when I you're looking, phone... you're going to find. Yeah. And I found. So, as I was looking through the phone, a family member had gave her a phone because okay. hers had got uh, disconnected for a little while. So, she was using the phone. And when she got the phone, there was nothing on the phone. No contacts, no nothing. So, it was a and... clean phone? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And so, a couple of days into having it, when I went through the phone, it was a picture of a man in his situation on the phone. <gasps> oh. A man, a man in, in his situation. situation. You mean it like was, his... It was a tally knackle, Your Honor. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. He went back to, like, what my grandmother would say. <laughs> For those of you who are not old enough, 
a penis pic? A hot dog without the bun. All right. That's what we're gonna say. He gonna pull a ball out. It, all right, well, we all clear. Right, but... You found this on the phone that she just got, which was clean when she got it. Yes, sir. And I presume it wasn't you. It wasn't mine. I know what mine looked like. It wasn't even the same shade as me. Oh, oh. so you, okay. it was not you. No, that wasn't me at all. All right, Miss McCullough, why do you have those kind of pictures on your brand new phone that was clean just two days before? A family member gave me this phone. Uh-huh. They felt like I was in the house with kids. I needed communication. Sure. When I got the phone, it was, it was clean. It wasn't nothing on there. But, like, that night, it was a text, and it was a picture of a man with his penis. Right, right. And... So, who sent it? I, I don't know. So I, you I just really getting... don't know. I just got the phone. Like, they... The family member could have been on the phone and called everybody, erased everything before they gave it to me. But I don't know who penis it is. That's a flat OK. Number. It's I, not a penis pic you invited. I had just got the phone. I didn't recognize the penis. Like... So, okay. I, I know what my, my penis is like. It's a mystery penis. A, a mystery penis Wait, shows up it, on your if phone. If that was the case, Your Honor, okay. would she have just deleted it? Yeah. Right, so like, if that's, you didn't want it in the question. phone, you didn't know, you didn't know whose it was, wouldn't you just delete it instead of keeping it? That's what that's happened, what... right? Right. She just... No, she kept it. It was still on her phone a couple days later. All right. So, we got that. Are there any other uh, red flags that you've seen, Mr. Owens? Let's say about a month and a half ago, two months ago, mm-hmm. um, I started receiving text messages from her ex's new girlfriend... Okay. At first, she started... She found me on Facebook. Okay. So, once she confirmed that, she gave me a call on Facebook and immediately just went down the line of, yeah, did you know that she's been sleeping with her ex and they're doing this, they're doing that? And I'm asking, like, how do you know? So, she goes... She proceeds to tell me, um... He's starting to go over and pick her up from work every day, drop her off home every day. They're spending a lot of time together. And even as far as she pulled a family member to the side and the family member told her how she would send the kids outside to play while they were in the room by themselves doing whatever. She said they were just talking and chilling. But I believe it was more than that, because why would you have to send the kids outside? Well, anytime I hear talking and chilling together, I go, okay. Mr. McCullough, why are you spending time with your ex and spending time with your ex in that type of situation? My ex comes over to the house, like, if we're into it, he comes over to the house, he cuts the grass, he fixes stuff in the house. When you say when we're into it, who do you mean? Hmm. When you two are not getting along? When me and Mark are not getting along, he comes, like, even... He comes over to the house, he cuts the grass, he helps fix stuff in the house. He does all this, but I pay him. If I How was sleeping... How you paying him? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm paying Thank him. you. Hey, good question. <laughs> that was a good, good one. Question. <laughs> that was good question. I pay him in cash. If we were sleeping together, I wouldn't be paying him to do anything in my house. But you understand this is a recipe for disaster, having your ex come over. And it'd be different if he's coming over and taking care of your lawn when y'all together. But you made it very clear he only shows up when you two aren't getting along. It, it's not Honor, even... He even thought... He must have thought that we were into it one day because I'm, I'm, I'm in her house, we're sleeping in the bed, and he comes over to the house. And once he finds out that I'm in the house, this man gets mad. And literally comes in. He supposedly had left a fan there. When he found out I was in the house, he straight took his fan back. Give me my fan. So he was mad that you were in the house. He's mad that I'm in the house. And why he? Why would he have any feelings if they're exes? Right. And then my he's... thing is, she already admitted that the man be trying to sleep with her and everything. So is if he's true? trying to sleep with he, you, why he would has you have tried to sleep with me? But so I would why never be friends with him? Why would you even put that yourself thing, into that type of situation then? <laughs> Like, to hear it now, to hear it from everybody else, is like... Uh, it, it sounds do bad, I, doesn't it? It does sound bad. You know why? I can only speak my truth. I can only tell you what happened or what I know. You know why it sounds on. bad? Because it's Because it is bad. <laughs> you, you can't... We have a friend of the court who's gonna come and talk to us. She has been involved in relationships, and she's been involved in relationships where there have been allegations of infidelity and cheating and how you navigate that. So at this time, the court will call Arthur and star of Saints and Sinners and Tammy Ever After 
Miss Tammy Roman. Ron, please escort Miss Roman in. Oh my God, I love you. <laughs> Hello, beautiful people. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, it's so good to see you. It's been a minute. It has. I'm You're looking swell. Good. You as well. Now, you know, we know you've had, some in, you've had some interesting things happen. Yes. And we want you to help this couple. Okay. How can, can you share with them how issues of trust and its potential impact on a marriage. Can you share with them what that looks like? Yeah, well, I think that, first of all, my mother used to say, if you look for something, you're gonna find it. There it is. <laughs> there it is. But... Well, Mr. Owens is, is very concerned about his relationship, and he's nervous about the outcome of today's proceedings. I love the fact that you came here, you professed your love, you want this relationship to be right. I feel like men don't do that often enough. And you're saying, look, I love you, I just want to make sure you love me back. I respect that about you. You, my queen, <laughs> listen, them situations, <laughs> <laughs> all of that, penises showing up out of nowhere, <laughs> you know, I understand that things can happen. I'm not saying that, you know, that's not your case. Mm -hmm. It just could be, like, some odd things that have happened in your life and you haven't been doing anything. And when those situations present themselves, mm -hmm. that picture, you need to be like, I don't know who this is, delete. And, and, it, and if it right. is something, you need to call them and go, don't put it on this right. phone. <laughs> Thank you so much. We appreciate Thank it. Thank you. All right. Well, Mr. Color, I think we have enough evidence at this point. Ms. McCullough, are you prepared for the results of today's proceeding? I am. I I'm not cheating on him. All I want to do is work, take care of my kids, eat, be happy and at peace. And I just need Mark to fall in line with it. That's all. I just need him to fall in line. And so are you ready, regardless of what the results might be? Yes, ma'am. I mean, I still got to show... I have to show my sons that no matter how much you love a person, you still have to do what's right for you. Okay. And if you have to leave a person, then you have to just suck up and take that pain and go. All right. Well, to help you all get to the bottom of this, this court has done a full and a complete investigation. At this time, the court will call cyber analyst Gus Dimitrellis and forensic voice analyst Guy Wolf to determine, is she cheating? Ron, please bring our experts in. Gentlemen. Good day, gentlemen. How are you all? Good day, Your Honors. Mr. Dimitrellis, what did you do to investigate this case? I conducted a full forensic investigation on the phone. The forensic investigation reveals pictures, videos, internet history, chats. Specifically, I was asked to find any evidence of cheating. What did you find when you initially investigated her phone? I found the phone did not have deleted data. In my 24 years of experience, when a phone does not have deleted data, it's either wiped or it's a new phone. I also found an application that cleans the phone. This cleaning application was deliberately used to wipe data from the phone. For the lay people in the world, when a phone's been wiped, what does that mean? That means there's not gonna be any evidence of anything other than what the person manually puts on the phone. Mm. And so it's one thing to delete that, it's another thing to wipe it. In this case, we have both, because there was another phone, a second phone I was supposed to analyze before the court. Prior to court, the phone mysteriously went missing. Uh, all right, Ms. McCullough, we ordered you to have two phones. What happened to the second phone? I, 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 I don't know where the other phone is. My you, son had that phone. That's I, the when phone I with the got... on it. That, oh, that's the one that that's had the situation has, on it. Yeah, right, you know, this the, phone the, that the, you the, did not produce, that you say you don't know where it is, this is the one that had the, the penis picture the on penis it, correct? The penis picture on it. And you don't know where that phone went to? No. So, the, so we didn't get to see what was on that phone. That's correct, Your Honor. But the phone that you did examine, you said someone put an app on there to wipe it? That's correct. There's a cleaning application that was installed on the phone and utilized to wipe data. So this was intentional? That's intentional. Mm -hmm. So why were you wiping the phone clean? No, I install and clean an app on all my phones. I don't, I don't know why. It's just... I don't either. I do. I don't it even... looks very suspicious. You would it, agree? It, it does look suspicious. It does look suspicious, but I can only tell my truth. I don't know what else to say. All right. 
So, Mr. Dimitrellis, were you able to recover anything from her phone? I did. I recovered a text message between Ms. McCullough and what appears to be another man. Okay. And this is the text message you got? This is it, Your Honor. The other man says, you got me feeling some type of way. I am, but you just met me. How I got you feeling some type of way? The other man, you can do all that. Better be high level. And so you did recover this from her phone? I did. Who is this man that you got feeling some type of way? I, I have no idea. No. I really but, don't. But I you really responded, don't. I am, but you just met me. So you acknowledged oh, you met the person. Oh, OK, OK, OK. <laughs> OK. 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 <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> it's some, some dude I had met at work, but the first time I talked to him, he was talking about he loved me or he got me feeling some type of way. And you just met me, so I can't have you feeling any type of way. That's why I said, hi, I got you feeling some type of way. I just met you. So right. did you go any further with this man? No. That was the end of it? That was the end of it. All right. So we, we also had a forensic voice analysis done. Is that correct, Mr. Wolf? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Let's take a look at the first question you asked. Other than what we've discussed, during your two-year relationship, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than your boyfriend, Mark? No. Now, when you said other than what you discussed, were you referring to the seven months when they were apart? Yes, Your Honor, I was. OK. What did the forensic voice analysis determine? The voice analysis determined that she was being truthful, Your Honor. I told you. That's kind of a unique combination of being relieved and shocked. <laughs> All them situations going around, <laughs> enough to make anybody feel some type of way. And Ms. McCullough, I see tears in your eyes. Is that relief? Is that frustration? No, Is that... it's not relief, because I knew I was going to pass my test. It's I love this man. Oh. <laughs> mm. okay. 